So like I said in my other video, um, I'm going to be reacting to this next. Woman drinks and bathes in her own urine. My strange addiction. <laughs> Intro. Like I said last video, I don't like intros, they're boring, and I don't want it to be boring for you guys, so yeah. My name is Carrie, I'm 53 years old, I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I'm addicted to drinking my urine. <laughs> Colorado, <laughs> and I'm addicted to drinking my urine. That's the face that some serial killer would give you just before they're about to murder you. <laughs> That's honestly scary. I drink it like I'm in a beer drinking contest. It's easier to drink than water. For the past four years, Carrie has been drinking nearly all of her urine. It started as just one glass in the morning. Now she consumes up to five glasses every day. Whoa. Wait, so an adult is meant to drink about two liters of water every day? Huh, and if a glass is about 200, and my, my maths, it's so... Mm. Mm. So that's over half of what I like drink. warm pee. It's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. The first time I drank my urine, I didn't throw up. And it wasn't horrible. So I thought, you know what? I can do this. My urine does smell, depending. On what I eat. Today it tastes a whole lot different than it did four years ago. Sometimes it's salty. Sometimes it tastes like plum champagne. Hmm. Maybe a little lemony. You can taste different things going through your body. There's certain things I don't like to eat anymore because they don't taste good recycled. <laughs> I love, love, love asparagus. I won't eat it anymore. Makes the urine taste, ooh, really bad. Urine is your body's waste. It's what your body has decided to. Yes, um, by the way, survivalists always say, drink your own piss. If you're just, um, I'm kind of confused about this because some people, I don't think you should because some people, because like it's 95% water, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. Oh, I found a good book I want to read. Never mind. <laughs> totally getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, and the 5% of it is actually apparently something really harmful. Like, I've never tried to drink my own piss before. Please don't. Please don't. Filter through and get get rid of. So it doesn't seem healthy to me that to put that back in. You know, but that book is really annoying me. I I'm getting this. I am getting so sidetracked, but I don't really care. The tattooist of Auschwitz. That's what I want to read. I would forget anyway, so, yeah, anyway, sorry about that. But Carrie doesn't drink urine just because she loves the taste. Her addiction began two years after being that's diagnosed a, that's with That's such a scary look, though. You can't look at that and cancer. say that's not creepy. I was diagnosed with malignant melanoma stage three, and they took out 16 of my lymph nodes, found cancer in three of them under this arm, and they told me uh, with the chemo I'd have a year to live. Carrie decided against chemo, instead turning to urine therapy, an ancient and long discounted practice to maintain health. Four years later, she still uses it to fight her disease. She has never consulted a physician about her unorthodox treatment. Carrie has also found other ways to consume urine besides drinking. Whoa. I use urine for toothpaste. I think it's brightening my teeth from the inside out. Whoa. I use urine under my eyes, in my ears, behind my ears, through my hair. Adding it to your bath is really good for your skin. Aged no. urine is real. She must smell so bad. Like, oh, I just got out of the shower. Oh, I smell like piss. I wonder why. Like, she must smell like piss everywhere. Good for a uh, lotion replacement. You put it in your skin and it completely changes the texture, moisture. I don't really care. I don't really care. And I fill it up with urine. 
and then hold it over my eye with my eye no. open. It's not easy because it burns. This is a neti pot. No. I use it. For, it's not easy. No. I'm pretty sure there is some acid in your urine. That's what I'm going to say. Because it burns. This is a neti pot. I use it for nasal drinking. It's kind of tricky. You gotta do it just right and breathe at the same time while you're just putting a little teeny bit in there and swallowing at the same time. When you're nasal drinking, the pain is different than any pain I've ever experienced. Her daughters worry their mom's addiction is killing her. I don't think that's really healthy nasal drinking, by the way. Especially after finding a suspicious mole on her back. My concerns are whether or not the urine is helping with the cancer to really think that this is the best thing for her to be doing I to agree. help her health get better. Woman. I don't know, I'm just scared. I want my mom here. Today, they want to convince Carrie to go to the doctor before it's too late. We want to make sure that you're doing the right things, that you know that we're all taking the right steps and that we're helping you and supporting you taking those right steps, not taking wrong steps. Imagine just having this conversation and having the camera just like <laughs> in your face. What was that? <laughs> what, I have no idea what that was. So just having a camera in your face while you're having basically trying to save your mom's life. I mean, that must not be easy. You know, for supporting me there. doing something that's hurting me. Right. That makes sense to me. We don't want to worry about you anymore, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, would you, you would feel better if I saw a doctor. I've never seen some something like this go down smoothly before. I've had it in real life. You know, my grandfather, I'm not going to go into uh, any detail. Not even the outskirts. Um, I'm a private person. I don't want people to know about things like that. I'm mean, random people on the internet. I've never seen anything go down this smoothly. On TV, in reality you know, story, I am never just, like, there's always some drama. It's all feel always. Like, take a huge weight off of our shoulders. Oh, I love She looks way older than 50. Mom, do it. How old go. she said she was. Go to the doctor. I didn't have any idea that they had all that thought and emotion behind it. I'm willing to see a doctor and look objectively at this urine therapy and seeing if it's hurting me, and that would help my daughters. When the doctor examines the mole on Carrie's back, she's immediately alarmed. So this is irregular in shape. It would strike me as suspicious right away. When melanoma does recur, it tends to recur at a more aggressive phase, and if it's not caught early, it could kill you. What is it you would suggest? In terms of your urine therapy, I would recommend taking a little hiatus for a while. And I suggest a biopsy of that spot on your back. I'm very adverse to knives. This has grown from a very sick place inside. If we cut it from out here, it signals that inside go bananas. OK. Have you lost faith? that traditional medicine could help you with your risk for recurrent cancer? So now she's questioning a qualified doctor. Okay. A qualified doctor. Okay. Imagine this scenario. You have cancer. You know you have cancer. There's a suspicious small on your back. You're drinking piss putting it in your eye, nasally drinking it, bathing in it, putting it in your hair, and you go to the doctors because you, you don't want your daughters to go through the pain of losing a mother too early. Uh, and then a professional doctor 
suggests a method that has worked countless times, and you question it. Why? What is going through your mind? What is going through your mind drinking your own piss? I mean, honestly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. I totally have. <laughs> if you ever did consent to a biopsy and it came back showing that the cancer has recurred, would you ever consider that the urine therapy had failed and you'd be interested in pursuing something different? Uh-uh. So even if um, uh, the, you know, pissing thing was proven wrong, that face sums it up. Just, you're so stupid. She would still drink her own piss. Okay. From everything I've read, if I quit, I'll die. Okay. Anyway, how many subscribers do these people have not done the show? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to react to that next. Anyway, thank you for watching and good.